So, I thought it would be hilarious to um, go over some shitty memes that I've been collecting. I'm attempting this thing where I collect the shitty memes and the shitty posts instead of just replying to people because although I think the block list, you know, people have blocked me, I think that the list is kind of funny. You know, if everyone blocks me, then I can't laugh at their content. So what I'm trying to do is, is just collect stupid shit that I see on the internet and um, laugh at it all together in a video because that just seems more humane and you know, it's the right thing to do, so I guess we should get uh, started. Let's find the first image here. Hmm. So, this one, it's from Instagram, some girl that, well, she blocked me. <laughs> uh, it says, now that Biden won, watch me not wear his name on my hat and not put a giant Biden flag on my truck and drive around with it for four years like a fucking weirdo. Well, I, I guess, but like, there's a lot of people who put their politics on their cars, including liberals. I still see Obama-Biden stickers from 2008. So, I mean, that's not that weird. And the thing with Trump hats, I think, is it's a little bit different because Trump was a celebrity before he ran for president. And even disregarding that, he's a very just popular... He has, like, a fan base. It's not just political supporters. It's, it's a fucking fan base. So that's really not that weird and a lot of people have flags on their truck regardless just because they like the country they're in so that's uh, kind of a, a stupid fucking meme let's let's find the next one. Oh, this is uh so this one is actually glitter and lasers she's like a fat positive blogger or something and um, I follow her because she has good content to um, harvest this is somebody that actually messaged her this isn't me and they're basically calling her out about um, BLM, so they're just saying, you know, they burned down entire cities all summer, are you serious? And like, yeah, are you actually trying to say it's okay people breached our state capitol, broke windows? It's like, no, no, that's not the point. The point is one is objectively worse, like burning cities down, that's people's businesses, their jobs, and their livelihoods. As much as I'm still against the fact that they did property damage to the capital, damage to government property, in my opinion, is not on par with destroying people's private citizen property. And it's funny here, they say, um, let's see, uh, because they didn't like the outcome of the election. Boy, <laughs> leftists literally do this when, when they lose elections. Are you going to sit here and tell me that? The left would not have burned down cities if Trump had, you know, rightfully won. They would have absolutely burned down cities because they lost the election. Come on. That's not pro state has saying. That's called terrorism. No, actually, terrorism is everything the left has been writing about for the past fucking year or so and on. Because terrorism is the use of fear for political gain. Okay, instead of, you know, debating, which we've tried to do. Um, I don't agree, again, with the violence part and the destroying of property. There are the claims that um, Antifa was responsible for some of that, but regardless, doing a siege and a stand-in is not the same as terrorism, as attacking people because they simply disagree with you, and that's exactly what BLM and Antifa would do. At one point, they were going up to people asking them to kneel and apologize. That's fucking weird. Also, before I get to this one, um, on another thing on glitter and lasers is um, when when I messaged her, like I was pretty calm about it, you know. She she blocked me, <laughs> so I just think that's hilarious. These people don't want discourse. Let's see. I am tired of this not-who-we-are rhetoric, the same America that pillaged and slaughtered indigenous fox, folks for land, that enslaved millions and created inter internment camps, the same America storming the Capitol building today. No? Like, I see what they're trying to say, because it's, you know, political posts. But the sarcasm in me has to take over. Of course, it's the same America. The country has not changed. Britain is the same Britain, Canada is the same Canada from a hundred years ago. It's all the same shit. 
However, the people, are you accusing the people of being, um, like, the slave owners or something? Because, <laughs> I mean, there's so many fallacies in this, I don't even know where to start. When people say this is not who we are, like, legit, if you look at the videos of all of the fucking Trump supporters and other people who were at that riot, that, um, that Capitol riot, well, it was actually just a, a protest originally. <laughs> If you look at the videos at all the people in DC at the protest, the hundreds of thousands of them, most of them, hundreds of thousands of them were peaceful. They were just standing there. They were hanging out with the flags and shit. It's really not who they are. There has not been, like, any instances of like, out of all the Trump rallies and whatever, the amount of violence that comes out of them is so minimal. And that's in part because people who support Trump, if they want to get together and have, a like, a rally, they have to walk on fucking eggshells. Because if they do the smallest thing wrong and it gets documented, they're terrorists. But BLM can write, and there's videos of that, and that's empowering. So, fuck this guy. He also blocked me. But I have a spare account that I use to stalk my ex-liberal friends because they give me good content. Same person, as it turns out, police are better at brutalizing black, black, black protesters than stopping the US Congress from being overrun. <sighs> See, people are not getting brutalized because of their race, first of all. Um, they're getting brutalized because they're lighting shit on fire and destroying cities. Uh-huh. And as for stopping stopping the building from being overrun. That was pretty suspicious. I had, uh, I saw one hypothesis that either the cops were agree in agreement with the protesters, hence letting them in, or they were hired and told to stand down by people because they wanted something bad to happen so they would have dirt against the right. Which, you know, these are just theories, but it's, it's definitely possible. Let's see. Violet, oh, where'd I go? How do I zoom in on this thing? Uh, no, no, there we go. Violent Antifa thugs posing a threat to safety of our nation. Black Lives Matter. Oh, sorry, sir, I'll get out of the way. So, again, there was video evidence of cops letting people into the building. But there was also a bunch more video evidence that didn't get released because the media doesn't want that narrative of police force being used on these people. There was tear gas and shit. They, there were some cops trying to get these people out and you know someone got shot and died because of it so it's really all just how the media wants to frame it because they have all this footage and they pick the things that make these guys look bad and these guys look good. It's really the left, when people say the left can't meme, they really cannot meme. Okay, this is this is a good sh good stupid shit. So we all just gonna act like it's okay that white folks are storming the Capitol with no police response. But when we protesting to save our damn lives, the police beat the shit out of us. Come on, y'all. Come on, man. Again, again. One BLM BLM is based on lies. Um, nobody's hunting you because you're black. And you guys are burning shit down. If you just were standing there, not blocking traffic, not harassing people, not attacking people, the police would not care that you are peacefully assembling like the law intended. And it's not just white people storming the Capitol. There are Trump supporters of every race, both genders, both implying to even actually no. I'm sure there's at least a few non-binary people who are not crazy liberals that are on the right. But yeah. The point is it's these people are so so what is that fucking word? I've been drinking. Divisive. These people are so divisive. They have a narrative and that's what they want to push. They want to put white people are bad, we're good, we're abused, we're victims. Come on. This one is actually a right-wing conservative one that I put in this folder. 
but I'm just going to share it anyway because I think it's kind of important. Notice how media isn't showing videos of police tear gassing pepper spraying, shooting rubber bullets, and batoning protesters at the Capitol. Crazy, because it actually happened, but you wouldn't know unless you were there. Or unless you watched the first hand account videos of people, you know, showing that stuff. But this is something to think about. Like, why do you have to believe everything the media says? If you see an article or a news story, you know, that's a starting point, even if it's from fucking CNN. But if you further, you have to further investigate things. Like, I don't trust anything I see in regards to a news article. I don't care if it's from Fox News or CNN. If I see it, you know, I'll let my reaction, like, oh, that sucks. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's good. And then I'll go research it further if I think that I should. Just do that. I don't think anybody ever does that. I think they honestly take things at face value because it came from a news source that they deem credible. Okay, here's one. Here's one of those rare instances where I just hate everybody. So Diamond and Silk, I really like them, but this whole post is stupid. Forcing people to wear something against their wills, abuse of power, and unconstitutional. How can you preach against slavery but just by tyranny? And this guy was saying, wearing a mask is not surrender of liberty. It is... It's cut off. Oh, an affirmation of love. So, this guy, this post is corny and stupid, but, um... This post is also stupid because I think like, unbiasedly, that most people who push the mask shit honestly are doing it because they think it's going to help the pandemic situation. And it's not like we're forcing you to wear it because we want you to be, like, a slave to the government. They think it's going to help a situation. It's a health thing. It's not a, a power thing. Though I do believe that COVID has definitely been politicized, like, as a political weapon. I do agree with that. But I think this whole thing, like, oh, wearing the mask is unconstitutional. I think it is if you're outside, but private businesses can make whatever the rules that they want up. Restaurants have dress codes. If, if Walmart makes you want to have to wear a pink sock on your left foot and a blue one on your right to come in, that's their stupid fucking rule. And you gotta follow it. So, there's stupidity on both sides. Okay, here's a good one. I don't know, I hate Windows 10 so much. I can't just like scroll out to zoom out and I don't want to press this because it's... If I press this, it only zooms in and it's terrible, but this is a silhouette of Trump and it says those who can make you believe absurdities can make you commit atrocities. Implying that like Trump supporters have committed atrocities. But it's really funny because everything the left stands for, and when I say the left, you know, I know I'm generalizing, but I'm not going to specify each time because it's a mouthful and English is... You know what I'm saying, okay? So the far left, the extremists, um, they believe absurdities. They believe everybody's out to get them. They're victims, even though these things have been disproved. And they do commit atrocities because they, they, do, they partake in cancel culture. They get people fired over stupid shit that, like, is dug up from their past. They burn, they loot, they murder, they do all this shit. But some people damage a government building and all of a sudden they're terrorists like really like have some introspection here like think about what you're saying come on oh this is a good one so i forgot that some people that i truly loathe their opinions have not unfriended me and i have not unfriended them i simply unfollowed them so i wouldn't cause shit to happen and i went to their profiles and god there's some, some of them are gold mines and I'm really sad that other ones have blocked me because I'm sure there's just some quality spice memes on there. But this one, I have so much to say about what's occurring in the U.S. Capitol today. And in short, if you were surprised by the attempted coup that is happening, that is occurring right now, you have not been paying attention whatsoever. Assess your ignorance and the privilege that allowed it. These are domestic terrorists, not rioters or protesters. I love how every time the right has a valid argument against the left, instead of coming up with a, like, a, a counter-argument, they just play an Uno card and they're like, actually, no you. No you. Every time. Every fucking time. Like, people accusing them of being a, like an occult or something, that's been flipped. Um, the terrorist accusation has been flipped. They don't defend themselves, they just know you. It is a fact that if these people were BIPOC, uh, say people of color, I forget what the fuck, something indigenous, I don't fucking know, they would, uh, they would never would have made it into the Capitol building. No, 
again, there were people of all colors there that got into the Capitol. The fact is that Trump supporters don't have a history of destroying shit. Or there was some kind of coup and these cops that were, you know, there to quote unquote protect the building were told to stand down. In fact, there are reports of like first hand encounters of cops said they were told to go home at like ten before this happened. Why? And they weren't told to come back. I think some had to come back on their own accord, which is, says, says, yeah. This is not a one-time single-day event. The poison of white supremacy, hatred, and other corrupt ideologies upheld by Trump. I'm going to censor it, but even, you know, I, even though we know what you're saying. And his cult are alive and well in America and have been for centuries. Um, I mean... <laughs> I don't know how people still think white supremacy is like a, a mainstream thing today. The only people I can think of are, that are white supremacists are Klansmen and the KKK because they believe truly that white is the superior race. I don't know what these people think that this means. I don't know what they think the word racism means. I don't know what they think white supremacy means, but it's not what everyone else thinks it means, as you can see by this. And I don't get this weird thing with the left and asterisks Astrases? They censor words, but you can clearly tell what the word is. It's not like on Facebook where they'll ban you if you say, like, the the gay F word or the N word. It's not like that. They just, they censor shit, <laughs> like, randomly. It's like, oh, it's to make people feel more comfortable. It's, I can still read it. You put an asterisk in rape, but I still know you're talking about rape. And now I'm thinking about rape. Thank you so much. I don't get it. Another, um... More on the right meme, I guess. Centrist meme. Uh, meme. I just keep saying that. I'm tired. But uh, I think this is important. In the 60s, the KGB did some fascinating psychological experiments. They learned that if you bombard human sub subjects with fear messages nonstop in two months or less, most of the subjects are completely brainwashed to believe the false message. To the point that no amount of clear information they are shown to the contrary can change their mind. I've seen this, okay? You can give them facts and stuff. If they do not... The cognitive dissonance is, like, so extreme, it's actually terrifying. Like, the BLM thing, where they say black people are murdered at a higher rate than whites in in police encounters, even though that's you can look at the numbers and do the math yourself. They're not. And you can say, you know, women aren't oppressed, look at fucking Oprah. They don't take, they take that as some kind of weird outlier. Like, even though there's thousands upon millions of women and non-white people that have succeeded in life, somehow they're still brainwashed to think that they're oppressed, and it doesn't make any sense, because if I was oppressed and someone was like, actually, no, I'd be like, oh, show me the evidence. Oh, shit, this is good news. It's not good news to them. Being liberated is not good news to them. It's weird. It's cultish, and I'm, I'm actually going to do a video on the left being a cult, because I think that's hilarious that they accuse Trump supporters of being in a cult when they're literally... They tick almost every box of being in a cult. There's another one I can't make bigger. So I don't know how to use this fucking screen recorder. Um, no, there is no evidence that anti activists stormed the Capitol. Untrue claims that anti-fascist activists infiltrated protests are a common refrain from the far right. Okay, first of all, there's pictures of these people, like, side by side, and they're from Antifa. Second... You cannot prove a negative like this because you would have to vet every single person at the protest and then subjectively decide if they are true Trump supporters or not. And this is like another case of, of the previous picture is that if you keep saying it, maybe it'll be true. You'll notice a lot of the fact checks, if you click on them, all they are are articles saying, actually, no, this isn't true. It's been disproven. They don't say how it's been disproven. They just say, no, you're wrong. Like, give some fucking evidence. Stop. Just think think about it. Think about it. Honest, honest question. Honest question. Okay. If, you, if you're someone on the left and you're looking at this image here and, you're, and you think, like, you, you believe it, why is this evidence to you that 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 didn't happen? Like, I don't get it. Like, if someone told me this in a different context, I wouldn't... I, saying, no, it didn't happen, is not evidence. I do not understand 
how these people don't see how stupid this is. I really wish I could, maybe if I make this the window smaller. What the fuck? There we go, I'm stupid as shit. Okay. Things to keep doing in 2021. I chose this image for this montage because of this one. Holding the government accountable. You know, that's what the whole protest was fucking about. Is holding the government accountable because they didn't do their duty and make sure that the election was fair. They did not do the audits or look at the evidence. And I think, you know, I'm just kind of getting edumacated, right, on how elections truly, like, work the steps of them. And I read that, you know, on January 6th, all the electors get together. And if one person objects, they have to go off into a room for a couple hours and, like, decide again. And I heard that about three different states objected and nothing happened. They just kept do kept going, kept counting. Hold the government accountable, guys. Oh yeah, and don't forget to support pe people's businesses based on the color of their skin. And stay open-minded and keep learning, but don't learn too much because that's dangerous. Be relentlessly anti-racist. Okay, yeah, put your fist up like a fucking Nazi, except instead of your hands being flat, it's a fist. Okay, protecting my community. God, I fucking hate these maskers, these... Okay, I could make a whole video about maskers, okay? It's the virtue signaling. You have the Karens on the right that refuse to wear the masks and make a scene in stores like idiots. And then you have the people on the left who, like, tell you that they're going jogging and they're like, by the way, I'm wearing a mask. It's like, good for you, hyperventilate and fucking pass out. I don't, I don't care. Why are you putting that in there? It's virtue signaling. They want to let everyone know how good of a person they are. Otherwise, why would you... It's such a weird thing to put in there. Like, by the way, I'm, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm wearing a mask even though I'm not near anybody. You know, the masks are to help prevent spreading your germs, not from getting sick. If you're going on a run, you're not breathing on anyone. People don't usually run in groups unless it's like a marathon. Why are you wearing a mask while you're exercising? Why are you telling everybody about it? It's weird. And and I'm not like just an anti-masker. Like, I hate both of them. I hate the anti-maskers and I hate the maskers. Given that they're both Karens. They're both projecting Karens. And they're just, they want to tell everyone about how great they are for either not doing it or doing it. And it's just really cringy on both sides. See, I don't know where I got this one. I think it was for, from one of my, um... My liberal friends that I unfollowed uh, had a spot a closet racist. They're mad at kneeling during the anthem, but only because it's disrespectful to the flag. They never want to talk about why players are kneeling. This is because they really don't give a fuck. No, it's because nobody wants to hear about your political bullshit during a game. I hate football. I don't give a shit what they do. I'm not super obsessed with the flag. I could make a whole fucking video on symbolism. Like, the flag is it's overrated. It means to you what it means to you. That's cool. I don't give a shit. I just think the kneeling is is stupid. We're here to see you play football. Then go do your job and save the virtue signaling bullshit for Twitter. Like, that's, it, it's just stupid. Convenient amnesia. They only associate BLM with violent protesters and looters. They seem to forget about the folks who are peacefully protesting with BLM attire and signs. Hmm, let's reread that and change a few words. Convenient amnesia. They only associate Trump supporters with violent protesters and looters. They seem to forget about the folks who are peacefully protesting with MAGA attire and signs. It's the same shit. Okay, except for BLM and Antifa destroyed cities and personal private property. Again. Okay? They don't have a problem with All Lives Matter or Blue Lives Matter, but Black Lives Matter is diver divisive. Nobody has a problem on our side with All Lives Matter because black lives are included in all lives. Blue lives are included in all lives. And the only reason we have the blue lives thing is because Black Lives Matter was supposed to be about police brutality and a lot of police die on the job. And that's a... that that is actually a, a niche, a niche, like, thing. Like, how do I explain this? Black Lives Matter is about police brutality. All races can be a victim of police brutality. Blue Lives Matter is about police dying in the force, on the job. There's nobody else on the force dying. There's police because they're police. That's the point. 
okay? That's why Black Lives Matter is stupid, is because other races are affected by police brutality. And it's not about black lives in general. They've said this. The organization have said this. They don't care about black on black violence or anything else. That's, this whole paragraph is just so fucking... I don't see how they type this stuff, review it, and they're like, yeah, that's a good point. I don't get it. Let's see. Pay attention. They seem to always bring up someone's past. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. I'm already angry. I read this before and I forgot. And then I'm reading it again and the visceral rage is coming back. Let's read the whole thing. We'll go through it. Who gives a fuck what a person did in their past if they were unjustly murdered? They don't care to know the past of the white boy who shot up the black church, but conveniently know everything about George Floyd. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna explain it. Because if I just laugh at it and say, oh my god, haha, it's not even... So white people are responsible for dead people, right? Their ancestors maybe having slaves, right? That's important. That's why black, the white people have to grovel. Because um, the, the left doesn't bring up, you know, people's past. They wouldn't do that. That's, that's not good. Who gives a fuck about what a person did in their past if they were unjustly murdered? Okay, this is talking specifically about criminals being shot unjustly, see, quote-unquote unjustly, and murdered. Sometimes there are casualties when making arrests because the criminals are actually trying to attack the police officers, and I do agree there could be other means of apprehending people like tasers or giving them uh, a shot that will disable them but not kill them but don't give me this bullshit about who gives a fuck about what a person did in their past because that's all the left cares about is what people did in their past they will dig shit up on people and get them fired from their jobs because they sang along to a rap side Ra what the fuck I can't speak I'm angry because they sang along to a rap song and said the spicy n-word Ending with an A, by the way. Right? Okay. They don't care to know the past of the white boy who shot at the black church. Um, that's probably because they just agree that he was a criminal. And just be and I'm sure if he had gotten shot and killed, nobody would have cared about his fucking past because he was a criminal. Okay? We bring up George Floyd's past and all these other people's past because they're martyred like heroes because they died in a police encounter. Nobody's defending the little, the, the, the white boy who shot at the black church. And if they are, that's a fringe, fringe minority. But uh, we bring this stuff up to be like, why are you martyring criminals? Like, every single person that Black Lives Matter has, like, chanted the names of, that I know of, they weren't just innocent people. They were, like, doing something. Okay? And BLM does not give a shit about actual innocent people getting shot in the, the, the fucking the Bronx or the, the Hood or I don't know where. I don't know places. Okay? They don't care about black and black crime or anything else. They just care about white cop, black black person that's all they care racism is for cowards i would agree and the left is the most racist sect of political ideology that i can think of right next to the kkk and like the nazis so i mean yeah love the love me the way you love my culture epic life okay that's enough of that